Okay, welcome to this training video where we're going to demonstrate the uh, Beermouth 16 drug cup test that's available from the UK drug testing website. This is one of the larger combination cup tests that's available anywhere currently, screening for a group of 16 drugs. We've got the foil outer here, this is how they come packaged from the manufacturer. Uh, standard all test foiling, you've got the basic uh, lot numbers, the expiry date on here, and then the list of the 16 drugs and the adulterants that are tested in here. Now this contains a double adulteration test, so you've got twice the, the normal three pad combination that you can screen for urine adulteration or dilution. And in addition to that, you've got the 16 drug groups tested, so you've got opiates, MDMA, which is ecstasy, oxybutanone, uh, T, uh, PCP, cocaine, methadone, tramadol, uh, benzodiazepines, amphetamine, methamphetamine, you've got K2 synthetic cannabis which includes K3, you've got fentanyl, you've got cannabis, you've got buprenorphine and pregabalin. So those 16 drugs given as individual test results. What we're going to do now is just open this packet up so you can see the actual contents of what you get when you open the packet. Remove the cup from the foil, you get a pouch of desiccant which is to keep the test in peak condition and dry. And this is your standard screw lid with temperature reading strip. And you can see if you look through the back of that with no sample in it, where the 16 different drug groups plus the two adulteration test strips are loaded into this test cut. If you remove the lid, you'll see it's a nice, easy, wide-sided cut. For collecting your sample and the results window is shown behind this orange sticker which you can either choose to leave in place or remove at any stage it doesn't alter the results it just is uh, covers up what you're actually screening for if you're giving this to somebody the donor isn't aware or cannot see the codes with that orange label in place when they're giving the sample. So this is then when you're ready to do the test taken out of the foil just before, given to the donor, and you can either do a semi-observed or observed sample collection, which goes into the cup. The lid is then applied and screwed down. That gives you a completely sealed sample. The minimum sample volume is indicated here on the side. There's a location for ID and date for the test and you also get some indicative results panels there to assist you in the correct interpretation of your results. So the next stage in this test is to pass that to a donor to provide a sample for testing. 